Oh, he getting stomped out. Yo. Yo. <laughs> no shit, Sherlock. Before we get to the video, quick shout out to all my Patreon members. Shout out to all these legends, man. Thank you guys for supporting me over there. If you are interested and want to see reactions like this way earlier than when I post them on YouTube and without no filter, edits, or cuts, check out the Patreon. Thank you for tuning in and enjoy the video. What's good, guys? Yeah, boy. No mercy, no mercy. 4K. No mercy in the building. Can back at your other banger reaction video today? We got the Boondock Season 2, Episode 5. So, react to me. Let's see what this next episode is talking about. If you enjoyed this video, enjoy my reaction to it. Smash like button and subscribe to the channel. If you're new here, I post every single day daily videos and bangers just like this for you guys here. So let me know your thoughts below what you guys think about this episode and my reaction to it. I hope you enjoy. And let's get it. The Boondock Season 2, Episode 5. Let's check it out. Turn to Thugnificent, rags to bitches. The story of Thugnificent begins here, in the projects of Terrabelle, Georgia, one of the poorest and toughest towns in the country. Terrabelle leads Georgia in homicides, infant Damn. mortality, AIDS, and everything else bad. Yeah, Yo! You know they say Terrabelle means beautiful earth, but in Georgia, Terrabelle Yo. means fucked up place to live. Terrible Terrabelle, yes sir, that's our name for it. Now this right here is why I grew Damn. up. I swear to God, man, they actually like shot a deuce on this nigga, man. You know nah, what I'm saying? Bro, they wild. shot on the nigga, man. And I started thinking to myself, man. Why would you just shit on? Hey, bro, that's this disgusting. Make them niggas that mad. Yeah, you over here right whooping over someone's here? ass and then that's shitting on them? The police station used to be. Yeah, uh, magic, like but not like that. Much, uh, oh my God, you say goodbye. This is crazy. Station. What? Nigga, there wasn't no more police station after that. Pigs got the fuck up out of here. That's when they put this big ass fence up around the city. <laughs> Yo, so nah. What was it like growing up in a place like they this? They fenced this city hard, up. You know? A lot of people don't know places like this even exist in America. You know what I'm talking this about? The slums, they don't know how dirty nah, the bro. Gets. nah, bro. They over here fencing up the slums is wild. Just, that's crazy. That's a damn shame. I know that song. Magnificent. What the hell is he doing here? <laughs> that was a random rapper over here doing it in their in their neighborhood. Living? Oh, they about to move in? Oh shit! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, they they moving in the whole squad. Man, I want to go over there, but I don't want to dick ride. You know, would that be dick riding? You think to go over there? What do yeah, I'll be glazing, this? bro. <laughs> What's hood in the wood, white folks? I just want to say we happy to be out here. It'll, it'll that would definitely be glazing, but I mean, what shit. What if I just go over there and give him a pound and be like, what up, Doug Nipperson? Like, not really all on his sack or nothing. Yeah. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, uh, come on, granddad. I'll be right oh, shit. <laughs> Bro, say hell no. Either one of you going anywhere near that house. You hear me? Damn. No, say what? hell no. Uh, I don't want to dick ride, so I'ma just uh go back to the house. Now let's make it rain. Damn. Shit, that's a nice way to help your neighbors like you. <laughs> yeah, let her let some money rain on them. Let money rain in the park in the parking lot, bro. In the public, man. The ghetto was here, y'all. Ain't this you a bitch? Who in the hell left the gate open? I love it. Yo. What up, old nigga? Yo, Graham said, nah, bro. I ain't trying to. You I ain't trying to have the ghetto. Welcome for all this thug never since. Come on over here, do it big, man. Nah. Out with the homie. Mm -mm. Man said he did not. He did not leave the ghetto to try to have the ghetto come back to him. Nah, man. Oh yeah. Well, fuck you, old ass nigga. Stop hating and get money, my nigga. You just Yo. mad at all this thug never since. Respect it, man. <sighs> Breathe it in, nigga. Bask in it. 
Just talking crazy, now, Gramps. Where were we? I don't want them damn niggas living across the street from me. Shoot, Man. Pay too much money for my house. Funny ass music. Yo. Yeah, yeah. Now that la that girl yeah. was a fan, man. Talking, trying mind. to act up. Oh shit. I'm gonna kill this motherfucker. Son. Oh shit. Yeah. Shoot. Pay too much money for my house. Funny ass music. Yeah, yeah. Nah. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm gonna kill Say this goodbye. motherfucker. Magnificent and his cohorts, Mactastic and Phenomenal, formed the Lethal Interjection Crew. Mactastic and Phenomenal. Okay. Oh my God, yo, they got a nice ass crib. Ah, uh, he, he he picked out the crib. Okay. It's like somebody threw a million dollars into the monkey cage at the zoo. It breaks my heart to watch the degradation of this decent place. Well, we can't yo. Their kind, bro. I ain't gonna stand for it. We were here first, right? Nah, bro. They're talking well, crazy. I'd sell my house if I thought it was still worth anything. Why don't you just invite them over for dinner and get to know one another? Yeah. Now, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. <laughs> now, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I, I wouldn't. A hey, ruckus. There's very few things you could ever agree with ruckus on, but having a a, a famous rapper, loud ass neighbor, just with hella people all the time, all around. Bumping crazy music in your neighborhood, like being a disruption out of nowhere, just moved in, moved in. That would get annoying to anybody. Like, come on, man. That's Why don't you just invite them over for dinner and get to know one another? Yeah. True. Yeah. I, I can do that. What's happening, nigga? All right, nigga, what the chicken wings and the donuts? What the fuck you <laughs> eating this bitch? Oh, what the hell? Yo. Mm -mm. Nah, bro. That's why you think? He... Nah, why you say? Why you think he's so disrespectful though? Why you just assume that he's gonna be that disrespectful, Grant? Grandpa, that's tough. What the hell going on out here? Hey, shut up all that damn noise. Yo. Oh, man, y'all need to listen to some Nat King Cole and some Jack <laughs> Methods. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. That would piss me off, bro. If, I keep, if I'm over here listening to some loud ass music outside, I'm trying to sleep at night. Oh, hell no. Yo, Riley, yo, he about to sneak out a go party? <laughs> nah, yo, Riley is a menace. Hey, no hey, homie. Hulk up, my nigga. You ain't got no drink? They got by. What you mean drink? Hulk, nigga? Nah, nah, nah. Don't drink that. Hey, my name is Riley, and I live across the street. Oh, with the Don't drink that, Riley. Yeah, that's my granddad. Don't mind him. He a hater. Look, I don't want to be dick fried and nothing, you know. I just want to say that I like your music. And uh, you know, this is my turf over here, and I'm holding it down for all the young G's. So, you know, I'll let your man oh, if you need anything. He said it's his turf. <laughs> oh man, respect, little partner. Hey, this little nigga's all right, y'all. Hey, nigga, get your motherfucking feet off the table. You know your mama taught you better than that. Ghetto ass nigga. Get your mother. Hey, <laughs> get the cool <laughs> out your cool. Yo, you see, who knows, man. Maybe Thug Nificent is not. Maybe Thug Nificent is a cool guy. You never know, Grandpa or Granddad. You should know what I'm saying. Have a conversation. <laughs> so did I say Could be a cool guy. Dad. You never know. Did you wash your hands? Hey, did you just congratulate me for reading? Yo, bro, now this do Huey. Now this do Huey looking at him with disgust. No. This dude looking at him with the, 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 the disgust. I Man, I said, did you just... <laughs> did you just compliment me for being able to read? You know what I mean? You know that read? Me for reading? Word. Oh, yeah, man. You know, it's good shit, like, homie. You, Word, you, you think it's cool, you know like, crazy reading? to be you able to read? It's hard, son. Word, you know what I mean? Word, you know what I mean? Especially when them books be, you know what I mean? You know, real thick and heavy, like, you know what I mean? Nah, Word, bro. You know what I mean? Oh, nah, we're bro. Take off. This doesn't seem to be a place <laughs> for kids. The fuck you talking about, man? We got PlayStation and Xbox. Nah, facts, nigga. though. And we got incredible hosts, <laughs> nigga. All the kids is welcome, motherfucker. Hey, PlayStation go crazy. Nah, this is not a place for no no kid, though. Huh? Get your drunk ass out of here. Oh, hell no. Get out here in front of his port on his what lawn. The fuck? My yard. Yeah. Now I'm They're wilding. I'll hold. Uh, oh, he's snitching. Okay, so uh oh. You filed a complaint against me, old man? 
You filed a complaint against they got by. Yo, they do it's nah. On now. Rap beef, nigga. Okay. Who's up? Hey, Grand, that you a hoe? Nigga, do something, nigga. Stomp him in the nuts. I'm gonna stomp him in the nuts. Stomp him in the nuts. What are you gonna do about this, bro? I ain't gonna lie, bro. If I'm losing sleep because a neighbor keep blasting music, bro, like, come on, bro. But like, <laughs> going to court over that? Now that's crazy. Now that's crazy, Granddad. That's a, that's some federal ass that shit. I ain't gonna lie. Several of the neighborhood's black residents filed a complaint to have Thugnificent forced out of the neighborhood. Yo. Let me ask you something. How did it make you feel knowing that this neighborhood's black residents didn't Damn. want you here? Man, it hurt more than anything, you know? To be Damn. stabbed in the back by your own people and for no reason? <laughs> man, we've been good now. Well, Superb, homie. Well, well, you already know Ruckus was not going to want you here. Like, come on, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know cause Ruckus schooled red ass. They must have where they came from. You don't know where I came from. I'm from a small town called Whipper Rapper, a little narrow country ass. And you, oh hey, shit. put that camera back over here. I ain't finished my damn Oh, line. shit. He talking crazy. Hey, yo. Eat a sack of baby dick, motherfucker. Oh, shit. Oh, nah. He made a diss track on Grandpa, on Granddad. Say goodbye. <laughs> He played cool, now his ass is grass for dropping dimes on my crew. The only Damn. reason that I pack a strap is that Got I him. this old nigga was fouled like half a shack. Oh my god, you're the, yeah. the end. <laughs> Yo, it's a crazy. <laughs> Yo, by, this man really violated granddad in this track, bro. Talking crazy. You done crossed the line. See, it don't cost a dime. Oh, hell no. Oh, he's getting stomped out. Yo. Yo. Is that about me? Man, tell me you ain't think that was hot. No shit, Sherlock. You gonna hate on me. Of course it's about you, you dumb fuck. You need to stop with the hate. No fucking shit, you ain't. No shit. You ain't that ass nigga. You didn't think that was hot. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Let me guess. You gonna hate on it just because they was talking about you. You need to stop with the hate crimes, Granddad. That wasn't even me. Yo. That nigga from Friday dressed like me. I always knew you was a hater, but I never thought you'd be famous for it. Damn. Yo, Bradley. Bradley is a Hall of Fame instigator. He's <laughs> talking shit. Oh. I'm a Hall of Fame hater. Oh, well. <laughs> hey, Robert. But, Tom, you filed the complaint with me. Yeah. Then I thought about it, and uh, I just went over there and met the guys, and turns out they're not so bad. A little exactly, country, maybe you know they use the word there instead of there. But Tom, I thought we were yeah, exactly, this. exactly, bro. Together. You, you yeah. over here just need to go have a t talk with them and see how maybe the magnificent isn't so ignorant. Maybe he cool. Love that song. They roasted you, man. How it go? How that? How it go? Oh, you just mad Damn. your ass is old, man. They. Killed. Yo. <laughs> yeah, see, that's actually why I'm calling. So nah. I'm gonna make my own rap about Thug Nipson and embarrass him. Hey, yo. Wait, what? I'm never gonna guess who on the phone. <laughs> and did you know that fool parked cars on my yard? I'm gonna rap about that too. So, uh, man, better, see, uh, man, man better do a diss track back at him. You would be interested in rapping with me on this song. See, I rap first. You can come in and rap second. But no curse words. And none of them crazy metaphors. I <laughs> said no curse words. None of that garbage. Just stick to the point. Who said a diss track no cursing? Can you turn me up oh, in the headphones? Shit. Granddad, you're only making things Granddad much, in the much booth. worse. That's why he's a mother, 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 mother fool. Mama Yo. was a fool. Daddy was too. You want to be like the magnificent? Don't go to school, fool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this yeah. motherfucker went to YouTube? No, this nigga didn't. Shit, straight dog shit. It's really on oh, now. Oh, hell no. Nah. This little fucking bitch ass old ass nigga. Hey, yo, word the mother. Oh, hello. Yo. Oh, hey, hey, man. What's, what's going They're on, man? They're mad man. as hell. I ain't threatening no old people. Come on, man. That ain't even my style, man. Yeah. Old dude, man. Just one. <laughs> man, I really need to call you back, please. Because I do. Man, I'm in a meeting. Man, me, can I call you back, please, man? Oh, hell no. Oh, nah, okay, mom, okay, make cool. sure not. Yo, I'm leave Gramps alone. Back, mommy. I love you too. Hey, we gonna fuck this old ass nigga up. 
Nah, you know, I don't hate old people. It's just sometimes you gotta let them know not to get it. Yo, twisted. why you acting so just tough? So he's got the phone. Like Recently, a rash of elderly assaults attributed to the beef have broke out. Oh, I don't know, bro. They got... And one in Tokyo. The AARP they got... announced a boycott Yo. of Thug Nificent's record label. It's That's fear crazy. And the protests could soon explode into more violence. They got the man, senior citizens getting bodied out here. No old people. I don't even really say how someone could even get something like that. Yeah, that so. Thug Nificent is talking about what Come he's on. going through. So maybe a young person listening won't have to go through the same shit. You smell me? Man, people always want to... You know what I mean? Ladies and gentlemen, no. what started as a simple disagreement between <laughs> neighbors has devolved into senseless, ignorant, self-destructive, generational tribalism. Will somebody here please be an adult? Your neighbors, you have to live together. Hey man, you know what? Somebody here needs to be an adult. We're neighbors. We have to learn to live together. Bro, what? <laughs> Yo, what the exactly. hell? That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Bro, just exactly what you were saying. Look at it, Doug Nificent. Not that I'm pole jocking or nothing. Hey, everybody. Riley, please. Please stop glazing. Good in here? Beverages? Please stop glazing. What about you, big guy? You good? Poor <laughs> said, hey, yo. Let me get it's that for you, homie. Any oh, y'all need a coaster? No. Let me go get y'all these coasters right quick. Oh, hell no. Stop glazing, man. Yo, Riley, shut the fuck up and stay over there, bro. Just stay in the corner. Very courteous hey, neighbors. Courteous. Well, what about the loud party? Man, you gave us permission to have that party. Robert Freeman. Wait, what? That's not my signature. Oh, hell no. Hey, this dude's forged his signature. Who's up for guacamole? I make huh. some me. Well, what about parking all those damn cars on my yard and ruining nah, my Nah, this game for his great guy's signature. Cars on your yard. Niggas was passed out by then. We was fixing to come over and apologize. You being real sensitive right now, man. Yeah, man. Anybody could see that that was a situation. He said that was all entertainment. Granddad, if you apologize to Thug Nipperson <laughs> for filing the complaint, nah, that I'm was sure a crazy diss track. I'm not gonna lie. You be willing to apologize for the video. Is do Thug yeah, they do Thugnificent, they, they granddad like like Kendrick, they Drake. Okay. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> and I'm sure Thugnificent will be willing to apologize for the video. Oh, oh, damn. Wait, 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 please. Come on, man. Can we at least agree for the sake of some peace, bro. everywhere that there will be no more diss records? Fine, whatever. I spits hot fire. I'll eat your ass up on the MIC if you keep messing with me. Yo. <laughs> Yo, they do not like each other. Granddad do not like this dude. Eat a dick, old nigga. Hey, yo, wait, what did Granddad say? Pause on what... Yo, pay for my line, boy. Eat a dick, old nigga. Yo, pause on what Thug Nipperson said, bro. Yeah, you know what rags to bitches we means do not is that there's each other. more to life than what you're born into. There's also bitches. Okay. All right, so that was the Boondock Season 2, Episode 5. What you guys thought about the episode of my reaction to it, man? Man, granddad, bro, you got to chill sometimes. I'm not going to lie, because they got a point, bro. Instead of going immediately to police and, 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 and complaints and court and all types of shit, man, you could easily just went and try to talk to them about the situation and to ask to see if they could relax or anything like that. Uh, keep it down. You know, on some shit, you feel me? But, hey, man, another W episode of Boondocks. So if you guys enjoyed this episode of my reaction, if you did enjoy what I see, the next Boondocks episode posted here immediately. Hit the like button and subscribe if you are new here. I post every single day. Daily videos and bangers, so like this for you guys here. But thank you for watching the video until the end here. If you made it to the end of the episode, though, let me know by commenting. Shit, who was a W in this episode, man? I guess Huey, right? Or I guess he wasn't. I, I mean, yo, Gr L Granddad, bro. I ain't gonna lie, L Granddad for being just a just a, a snitch off rip. I, I I could understand if maybe uh they were making hella noise and Granddad went to non saying uh to Thugnificent and was trying to non saying talk to him and shit. And Thugnificent said, "Fuck you, bitch ass nigga, get off my get off get off my fucking property, and I'm doing whatever the fuck I want." Like, <laughs> and then he's disrespecting you crazy and still doing all this shit. Then okay, but like you feel me? Just just going off rip to police and shit. L Granddad in the chat. L Granddad in the comments. Me until the end. So we know. See you guys in the next one. I guess today. Shout out to my guy Mercy. Y'all already know I'm NMG for life. 
make sure you guys subscribe to his channel and check out his reactions.